<laughs> you are a freaking rock star. If you are really doing every single step and you have made it to this level, I freaking commend you. You are doing more work than 99.9% .9 of all the people in the world, let alone the people you know. I guarantee there's not one person that you know, or maybe just one person you know, that's me, obviously, that has gone through this process religiously to be able to go through it. But I wanna go over my secret sauce right here, right now. This is the most important part out of all of it, hands down, for me. Maybe not for you, you may not need it. I 100% need it, and I'm willing to admit that I need this part, that without this part, I would suck, and I would not have done nearly as successful or nearly as well at achieving my goals without this part. So I would definitely have you consider doing this part. And what it is, is getting an accountability partner. Now, it doesn't mean you have to hire a coach, but you can. It doesn't mean you have to hire somebody, but you can, right? You have to get an accountability partner, go over your goal that that accountability partner is going to support you in and help you in and give you that moral support and that accountability. Did you know that out of 100% of people that get personal training, only five to 10% of them actually need to be taught how to use the machines, how to actually work out, how to actually do something. The other 90 to 95% need just somebody to hold them accountable. It is the accountability that actually works, okay? So get somebody that you hold credible enough to be able to listen to them when they give you constructive criticism or they try to hold you accountable. This will not work if you have your friend who you've been joking with forever or your dad who you don't really listen to anymore try to hold you accountable. It has to be somebody and then you're mentally in your mind be like, dude, this person's right. I need to take it, I need to step it up. I need to kick it up a gear, right? and talk strategy with this person, but it's somebody that you respect and look up to and you'll be able to do it. Now the cool thing is you can also be an accountability partner for them and make it a rule. Hey, when I talk about goals and I hold you accountable, you have to have humble ears. I'll give you something that's a lifelong secret of mine that I love that I use all the time. It's called ego ears equals a deaf mind. Okay, so 99% of people in the first moments they hear constructive criticism, they want to defend it. They want to make excuses. They want to pass blame to other people. That's your ego interpreting what the constructive criticism actually is listening to. Okay, so ego ears equals a deaf mind. Okay, Re remember that. That's actually one of my phrases, ego ears equals a deaf mind. So when your accountability partner is holding you accountable to what you want and the reasons that you want it and the reasons that you have to have it, you have to have humility ears and perspective to be able to make sure you're playing full out to get what you want and have them hold you accountable. Get one, let me know what their name is. Write it down in the comments below. I wanna know who's holding you accountable and for which goal. Write it down, let me know, get it done, move on. Let's go to the next one.